freedom from fear. If guilt is looking the brick wall of our blood, and seeing only the two bad brick we let, then fear is starting at the brick wall of our fortress, and seeing is only what might go wrong. When we are blinded by fear, we just can't see the rest of the world that makes up of what might go perfectly well. Fear then is overcome by seeing in the rule of the world, as in the following story from a recent distant visit to Singapore. My series of four public talks have been at many months before, the large at Expensive 2,000 seat auditorium at Singapore Central City has been booked, and the poster was displayed on the bus stops. Then came the crisis of such service acute respiratory syndrome. When I arrived in Singapore, the schools were at all closed. A basement block square were in and the government were advising its people not attend any public gatherings. Fear was bad at that time. I was asked, should we cancel? That very morning, the front page of the daily newspaper one is a large black figure stress that 99 Singaporeans were now confirmed with SARS. I asked that the current population of Singapore was. It were approximately 4 million, so I remarked, and mean that. Does mean that three million nine hundred ninety nine nine hundred one Singaporeans haven't got stars. Let's go ahead. But what if someone gets stars? Fear said. But what if they don't? Says with them, and with them has probability on its side. So the toss went ahead. 1500 people came on the first night, and the numbers steadily increased to a four house on the final night. Around 8000 people attended the talks. They learned to go again, this raises no fear, and that would strengthen their courage. In the future, they enjoyed this, the talk and left happy, which means that their virus fighting immune system has been at hand. And as I emphasized at the end of each task, because they are lot as my funny stories, they have exercised their alert and the strangest their respiratory system. Of course, not one person from down as audiences was us. The possibilities of the future in the infinite. When we focus on the uncalled unfortunateness, possi possibility that's called it fear. When we remember the other possibilities, which are usually more likely, that's called freedom from fear. To love. The trouble with romance is that when the fantasy is broken, the disappointment can badly hurt us. In romantic love, we don't really love our partner, we only love the way they make us feel. It is the high we feel in their presence that we love. Which is why, when they are absent, we miss them and are to be sad about it. Still, the reverse story. 
like any hive, is squeezed out after a wife. To love is selflessness. We are consistent only for the other person. We tell them, the door of my heart will always open to you whatever you do, and we mean this. We just want to, them to be happy, to love Everest. Many of us like to think that our special relationship is true love, not romantic love. Here a test for you this quarrel which type of love it is this. Turn up your partners, picture them in your mind. Recall the day you came together and wonderful time you have enjoyed ever since. Now imagine. Receiving a letter from Bernard, it tells you that they have fallen this line in love with your best friend. And the two of them have run away to live together. How would you feel? It is worth to love. You would be thrilled that your partner has found someone even better than you. And is now even more happy. You would be delighted that your partner and best friends were having such a good time together. You be a tetris that they were in love. Isn't your partner happiness the most important thing in true love? To love is rare. A wind was looking through the palace window at the Buddha walking for arms to food in the city. The king saw her and grew jealous of her devotion to the rich monk. He confirmed his queen and demanded to know who she loved more, the Buddha or her husband. She was a divorce. This couple of the Buddha. But in the old days, you had to be very careful if your husband was the king. Lost in your head means lost in your head. She kept her head and replied with searing honesty. I love myself more than the both of you.